All right, here we are. It's day three with my druid, Earth and Might druid. Um, basically, she's just focusing on the Earth skills, on stunning. Let's see, we, we have the list right here. If I go down, uh, critical strikes. Stunning, immobilizing, and knock knocking back. Um, we just acquired this boulder skill. Unfortunately, it has a cooldown, but uh, it gains critical strike chance when I have fortify. So fortification is also a piece of this build for that reason. Uh, it does do some stun if it overpowers. So overpowering is a big component of this build. I got all this stuff right here. I don't know why I keep looking at that. Um, so, yeah. The other abilities I have. I have ravens. Get a nice cloud of ravens if I uh, trigger the active portion. And it does have these extra things, but they don't really say that. So anyway, I have extra critical st strike chance, and then more ravens, which also increases the critical strike chance. And then I've got my main defensive skill, Earth and Bulwark, which uh, makes me unstoppable, which is nice, and uh, also grants life as fortify. I get a barrier, I get a fortification, landslide, after it damages enemies four times, the next hit will immobilize enemies for five seconds, and I gain these things called terramotes when I immobilize or stun enemies, and I think it's automatic against bosses. And finally, earth spike, which is my basic skill that doesn't cost anything. It's not a very good skill, but it does add to fortification, which feeds into my fortification uh, aspect to this build. Um, and it has a 10% chance to stun. So, all around, just focusing on that kind of synergy there. There's like a room up here that's going to have a bunch of werewolves for me to kill. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's this room. Here we are. Oop. They stunned me. Destroy the construct. Okay. It froze me, but that's all right. I can't even really see what's going on here. Boss fight, level 11. <laughs> Let's do this. Here we go. The lights war room. Big old werewolf. Get her, ravens. Get that dim mother. Gotta love the bosses that just uh, teleport. This gives me a chance to uh, you know, 
Oh, oh, oh. That was bad. What was I saying? Oh yeah, at least like the teleporting like kind of gave me a chance to get my cooldowns back up and running. Where did that health potion go? Oh, here we go. There she is. Got her staggered. Yeah, get her, Ravens. Let's kill her. Yep, there we go. Dungeon complete. Let's go back here and let him know. I completed your dungeon. a side quest there. Listen carefully. I have... Trying to get through these side quests as quickly as possible. So we're going into another dungeon. Here we go. Ah, that guy like rushed me. That was a little scary. Dread Martyr Monster. the animus urn and I need to fill with animus from killing off the animus carriers or tougher mini bosses. There's one now. Go ahead and just send my ravens. A swarm of ravens. my teleport ability that my lightning wizard had at this moment. Alright, so I need to get that bloodstone for that. There it is. Oh boy. Oh, 
This is what I find odd about this whole situation is the skill that I have that creates a landslide has no cooldown. But the skill that creates a boulder has a cooldown. So it's easier for me to just like completely rupture the earth ground underneath me like this and it's to just throw a big rock like that and the big rock is definitely got a cool effect but Put the bloodstone on the pedestal. And this is going to be a boss fight. I think it's that vampire guy. And he's killed me. I think he's either killed my. I think he killed my um, non-hardcore character. So you know he's not an easy boss, especially when does shit like that. Oh, oh, oh. Stay away from those things. Explode. Definitely seems like uh, staying keep my distance is a, uh, a good strategy for this boss. Yeah, so you get too close and he hits me with more of those purple things. And I also kind of want to stay away from when he does his uh, that trick. doing another dungeon and uh, this will probably be the last quest of the evening I'll go ahead and nab the other two quests we display these tr you're the heretic then Alright, so, if I look at this... Let me go ahead and do Shattered Tribute. I kind of feel like I am tempting fate too much here by doing another dungeon. Let's let's go ahead and just do the. Um, I have this tracker thing going on. I can do quests all over the map. I don't have to stay in the fractured peaks or anything like that. So let's do the uh, least the less risky ones. Let's do the beasts challenge. to somewhere in this area.
Alright, that's the end of that little quest. for this side quest. Oop. Bunch of them up here. Just need three more. I found it. I found the cow level. Look at that. Oh, there's one right there. Let's go get it. So let's see what happens when I trigger this. Petrified! And that did not get me the uh, horn. Alright, so in terms of what I'm doing tomorrow, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, Spheres of the Lost Grove. My druid power's going, we also have this side quest here, the Daughter of the Oak, but I think that involves a dungeon, so we're gonna save that for later. But, uh, yep, tomorrow when uh, all goes well, we will have claimed our first stronghold for this character. Day two, and, or day three, rather, in level 15. Not bad. Always feels like it goes so quick for the first few days, and it starts really slowing down around day 10 or so. Day 10 is my brain. Ugh. And my sorcerer died, so...